Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this Tuesday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness uh, regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, uh, that we are living in a very sick uh, and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, uh, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome today? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic? That God Himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making in the sick and sinful world. He says in His words, A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Welcome to the of the hand. God bless you, Shay. Beloved and friends, sincerely from my heart. I release that very special blessing upon your life today and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands, it shall surely prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Praise God today. And today, my friends, let me break it down. I pray that God will bless your child. He he will bless your children, bless your finances, bless your business. He will bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall surely prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Praise the Lord. Today I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. And the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Today, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether for second tour or for generational curse, I break today, I destroy under the precious blood, I reverse every curses that come against your life in the name of Jesus. Every chain is broken, every bar is broken, every fetter is broken, every evil is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God, whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free this afternoon in Jesus' name. Let's give my hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus said in his words, here is the children's bread. And the first covenant in naked man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Isn't that awesome today? Father God, this afternoon, this Tuesday afternoon, I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit, anoint mortal man of clay. As I minister your words, heal my body from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every weakness. In Jesus' name, as I minister to your words. I pray God for you bring you strength and power and dunamis as I minister your words. Your words will go forth under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Today, my friends, I want you to give God all your worries Give God all your cares and your burdens. Cast it upon the Lord. He says, cast your cares and burdens upon me. Or I for thee. Difficult times and situation comes to all my friends. We cannot escape that. And I want to tell you how do you deal with dark times, difficult times and situation today, my friends. 
let's see that it uh, come we need to come to all all in, in Matthew let's turn to Matthew chapter 5 verse 45 it says that he say ye may be sons of your father in heaven for he makes his son to rise on the evil and the good yes praise God and sends rain on the just and the unjust praise the Lord the just and the unjust beloved and friends life happens to all whether you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ or not, whether you pray or not today, you will encounter my friends obstacles and challenges and so the question is today is how do you deal with dark, with dark times how you do you deal with dark times, finally I want you to tell you that you have to know who God is and what he has promised my friends, the word of God is filled with promises about how God will fight for us and his children hallelujah how he will shield us my friends from evil yes how he will set his angel to encamp around us hallelujah and so when you know this beloved and friends you will be able to deal with the difficulty in front of you hallelujah secondly today I would like to tell you my friends that you have to praise God through your problems did you get that prayer Praising in an amazing is praise is amazing weapon for a believer because it shifts you from it shifts you your focus from stop focusing on the problem and you focus you stop focusing on the problem solver and so you stop focusing on the need and bring began to focus focus on the provider my tour and final point today is one that will be to spend a bit more time my friends explaining you see it's order to efficiently deal with a difficult time in your life you have you have my friends to remember today remember what God has done for you in the past yes remember how faithful he was he has been over the course the course of your life dealing with that encouraging you and lifting you lifting you my friends lifting your spirit reminding you of how far God has bring you you remind remember how many battles you came through when you know good and well that it wasn't by your strength yes my friends remember how the Lord has loved you and comfort you even when friends friends betray you my friends yes you look at back and remember how God hung over was over your life and things should have fallen apart for you but they my friends they didn't yes my friends every now and then again all of us ought to take a moment and remember remember all that God has done because because it's easy to forget that God, what God has done for us especially when we face challenging times or or become preoccupied with our daily lives and routines my friends but do you know why it's important today to look back look back it's important because my friends you began to see how faithful God has been how faithful God has been time after time to you you began to see how God has watched over you open doors for you time after time my friends hallelujah praise God when we reflect on the significant events and comments on our lives we are we can we recognize how God has been with us every step of the way this is emphasized in Psalm 77 beloved and friends 11 to 12 where the Bible reads it reads clearly I will remember the works of the Lord yes surely surely I will remember your wonders of all hallelujah I will also meditate on all your work hallelujah and talk of your or talk of your deeds hallelujah and so my my message is simple today beloved and friends trust my message is very simple trust God approach life challenges knowing that God has given you promises promises my friends of protection 
promises of peace yes promises my friends of provision approach life battles knowing that praise is a praise is a weapon when you praise God you invite him into your life hallelujah you invite him into your circumstances when you praise God you shift your focus to him hallelujah and my friends finally today approach life's difficulty difficult moments by taking the time to look back look back and remember how God has provided for us protected us hallelujah and guided us guided us in the past hallelujah and he is surely faithful to do it again and again now let us let us pray let us pray dear father dear lord today lord jesus i pray today that we should we should we, we you, you should be with us always in the, we have found joy and safety a refuge oh lord in you lord jesus we have found we have found the good the good shepherd today help us lord help us to approach life's challenges today knowing dear god that you are with us father lord hallelujah help us help us to, to approach life's battle knowing that you are fighting fighting for us fighting for us on our battle on our behalf help us to approach temptation today believing and trusting you Father God, that God, the God of the Bible will strengthen us today. Yes, Lord, strengthen us your word. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, clearly says, it says, I have given you authority to trample, to trample upon snakes and scorpions. Yes, and overcome, overcome all, all the power of the enemy. Hallelujah. Nothing, he says, will harm. Nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm you. We have authority in in your kid in your name lord jesus we have authority in your word lord jesus because your word is living and sharper sharper than any two-edged sword today oh father god almighty all authority in heaven all authority and heaven on heaven and earth has been given to you lord jesus king jesus there is none none greater than you today the father you have no equal you stand alone in glory hallelujah and mag and magnificence hallelujah isn't that awesome you alone lord jesus have the authority to speak to every storm yes i face and bring i bring peace i bring peace you alone lord jesus have the authority to set people free today from evil spirits yes so oh lord and from bondage you alone lord jesus can resurrect you can receive and you can make you can make all things new again and so and so as as your child today lord jesus we stand in confidence we pray we pray that you, you will help us to overcome every obstacles every obstacles in life yes in our individual lives oh father the authority that is in your name lord jesus yes we we believe in for victory today we believe in for victory and breakthrough lord we pray for our families we pray for homes today yes may there may be peace may there be peace may there be a godly love and unity within our families i pray today this show the authority that is in the name of jesus christ hallelujah jesus lord luke chapter 10 verse 1 to 17 clearly tells us it says in 72 return with joy return with joy and said lord even the demons even the demons submit to us in your name hallelujah praise god at your name at your name lord jesus every demonic influence that seeks to destroy our faith has has to be has to leave today in the name of jesus every demonic evil forces that seek seeks to attack our homes or loved ones in his powerless today in the name of Jesus Christ 
Hallelujah. All authority, all authority belongs to you, my Father, Lord Jesus. And the Bible says today in Philippians chapter 2, hallelujah, verse 9 to 9, verse chapter 9, verse 1. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him, hallelujah, the name which above every name, hallelujah, that, that in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow every knee should bow in those in heaven and those on earth and of those under the earth hallelujah and every tongue every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord yes to the glory to the glory of the Lord hallelujah praise God hallelujah father father my my knee my knee is bowed to you Lord Jesus Lord Jesus our hearts our hearts are open oh father to you today yes rule rule and reign rule and reign over our lives oh god rule and reign oh father over our emotions today yes every passions and goals every passion and goals as my tongue certainly confess that jesus christ is jesus christ is lord jesus christ is the soon coming king let's give a big hand today he's the soon coming king we believe that you have the prince of peace. We believe that you are you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh Father, Lord Jesus, today I praise you. I praise you as my Savior because you died and rose from the grave for my sin, so that I can be forgiven, Father. And so today I exalt, I exalt you, O oh Lord God, dear, dear God, today. I exalt you, we declare and we believe in your word today that tells us in Psalms in Psalms 145, Psalm 145, 18 to 22, the Lord, the Lord is near. The Lord is near to all those who call upon him. Yes, to all who call upon him today. In truth, hallelujah, he will fulfill the desire, beloved and friends, of those who fear him today. He also will hear, he hear their cries and save them. Hallelujah, praise God, the Lord preserves preserves all those who love him today. Yes, all the wicked, all the wicked he will destroy. Hallelujah. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and all, all the flesh, all flesh shall bless, shall bless his holy name forever. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And ever, hallelujah. Lift, lift, let, 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 let it be your will that I follow in, in my life yes let it be your will authority that it is the ultimate ruling authority oh father over my life today be father father i thank you for listening to this prayer today oh father be glorified be glorified be honored today in the mighty name of jesus let's give my big hand yes hallelujah i pray i pray father hallelujah I pray today, Amen, Amen, Hallelujah. One of the world, one, one, one in this world is so strong. No one in this world is so strong. I've never experienced doubts of any kind, no matter who you are today, my friends. Yes, how good you are at the craft. You have doubted at some point in your life. Yes, my friends, you've doubted. You've doubted. You've good enough. You're not good enough for the company. You're not. You doubt if you did enough in that in that exam yes you have been you have doubted if you make it through the right in the night at some point yes my friends and even at even as Christians today just because you are a Christian that doesn't make you exempt exempt from feeling from feeling of doubt today my friends doubt will attack you even as a believer yes and you will have you will have to choose if you really believe
believe my friends in the God in the God who you say you believe today yes my friends is now when it comes to your relationship relationship with God doubt is the absence of faith yes my friends and equally equally faith faith is the absence absence and the absence of doubt and I, I believe today my friends that the basis the basis for salvation today is faith the basis for salvation is faith faith to me is is absence of fear it is absence of doubt yes my friends this is not to say you will not feel you will not feel that emotion you can feel it you can feel it but faith overrides it it is faith overpowers overpowers that feelings my friends how now let me explain explain to you today why doubt is so is so strong and dangerous is a doubting person my friends cannot have faith are you getting me and when you don't have faith my friends when you don't have faith Hebrews 11 verse 6 tells us it says clearly